Hey everybody, it's Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com here with the Alienware X51. This is an all new small form factor gaming PC by Alienware and as you can see, it is very much the size of and designed very much like an Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 game console. And so Dell and Alienware have offered the battle cry that PC gaming is not dead. Let's take a look at this small form factor desktop, show you what it's made of and show you how it runs. Now the Dell Alienware X51 is based on an Intel Core i5-2320 dual core processor clocked at 3 gigahertz. It has 6 meg of onboard L2 cache and it has 8 gig of dual channel DDR3-1333 system memory as well as a 1 terabyte 7200 RPM 6 gigabit per second that's SATA 3 Western digital hard drive with 32 meg cache has integrated wireless and Wi-Fi connectivity as well as gigabit Ethernet and a 330 watt external power supply. As you can see up front here as well, it also has a slot load dual layer DVD combo CDRW drive. And uh, let's see what else we can tell you. Up front here's a pair of USB 2.0 ports and here are a microphone and headphone jacks up front. And as you can see, the Alienware logo is illuminated as well as some side lighting accents here. These are adjustable. We'll show you that a little bit later. And up top is a bit of venting. And this right here is the power button for the system. You just press that button there. Also lit up to show you where the location is uh, and that will power on and off the system. Let's take a look around and show you some more ports on the system as well. All right, so here we are on the back side of the Alienware X51. We've got uh, SPDIF audio output here, uh, optical and coax versions, HDMI, USB 2.0 ports, you get four of those, gigabit ethernet jack right there, USB 3.0 super speed ports, you get a pair of those on the back side, nice to have that, and uh, 7.1 uh, surround sound audio uh, outputs and inputs right there. And then the nice thing, small form factor PC for sure, again, about the size of a game console. Not a lot of room in this thing, but they managed to cram a full-size dual slot graphics card in here. This is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 555. Pair of DVI outputs right here, as well as the um, mini HDMI port off that graphics card. And uh, this is the actually the power input port right here. And as you can see, this is our power brick. So the power supply is external for the system. And uh, that's how they kept heat and uh, size down uh, with a small form factor PC like this. So really good to um, you know get the size down, uh, get that power supply external, as well as mitigate heat inside the case. So you just plug that in right there and you're good to go. And the brick sits outside of the system. Let's take a look around at the rest of the design and then we'll fire it up and show you how it runs. All right, so let's pull the side panel on the X51 and show you the interior a little bit. I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of pulling two screws and one wiring harness. Uh, actually, the wiring harness to disconnect the lighting from the side panel was all I had to pull. And then two screws, one here and one here for the graphics card. We'll show you that in a second. This is the uh, fan shroud for the heatsink and fan assembly that is cooling the processor. It actually pulls cool air in from the back of the case. But let's show you the full size dual slot GeForce GTX 555 graphics card. We'll just pop this up right here and you can take a look. So again, full size GeForce GTX 555 crammed into this little box. It's amazing. You actually have an extra PCI Express power connector here. Uh, only one to power this card. 330 watt power supply, so you do have a little bit more headroom in here to upgrade a graphics card possibly down the road, but not a lot. Um, we did some testing and we found out that under full load, the system draws about 212, 215 watts. Uh, and that's fully loaded down with the graphics card and CPU fully exercised. So you do have about 100, 115 maybe watts to play with uh, of extra power should you want to upgrade this graphics card. Uh, PCI Express um, riser card right there, uh, by 16 PCI Express card, plugs into the slot right there on the motherboard. I'll stand this up over here. And so again, by 16 PCI Express slot on the motherboard. This is a mini ITX motherboard. It is Intel's uh, Sandy Bridge processor right there, uh, the Core i5 dual core that we talked about earlier three gigahertz dual core. And uh, right here are the dim slots. There's a pair of um, DDR3 dim slots right there. 
And this is a full-size Western Digital one terabyte hard drive, 7200 RPM hard drive. So a lot of horsepower going on inside a real tiny chassis. Uh, optical drive up front, and again, because we they had the, the power supply external to the design, you get a lot more room in here, a lot more um, area to provide some fans for cooling and also keeping heat out of the case by having that power supply internal. Let's plug it all back together and power it up and show you uh, some other features as well as perhaps some performance numbers. All right, so let's hit the power button. I know what you were thinking. You have little faith. Is this thing going to work after you ripped it apart like that? Well, yes, it does. It boots up, as a matter of fact, quite nicely. And uh, as you will see, uh, boots fairly quickly, especially for a, a system that has a standard 7200 RPM hard drive. This isn't an SSD booting here. So um, what Dell has been able to do, because it's a small form factor system, you have a uh, reduced component count, if you will, that they have to account for in the BIOS. They're able to strip things down, allow the BIOS to cycle through and boot up real quick and get to uh, starting Windows here. And um, here we are just about to the desktop now. The other thing you'll notice is that the system is also very quiet. When it's idling, you almost can't hear it running. Um, when it's under full game load, uh, the graphics card is also very quiet. It's one of the quietest small form factor systems I have ever tested, actually. And for the amount of horsepower under the hood, uh, Dell and Alienware should be congratulated for sure. Uh, they've done a real nice job with keeping this system cool and quiet and getting it to boot fast. And of course, since the X51 is alien spawned, you get the Alien Command Center software that uh, Alienware offers uh, with every uh, system. And um, here you can see we're in the Alien Command Center, we're in the Alien Effects portion of the control panel, and you can adjust the color scheme for the, the lighting in the system. And here we'll go to Zone 1, which will change the lighting in the Alienware logo up front. Uh, zone 2 will change this left side panel and zone three, the right side panel. And so we've got a nice blue subdued color scheme going on now, but you can choose from any color in the rainbow available on that little jog wheel there. Uh, going to Alien Fusion, you can adjust the power plans in the system, when it will um, go to standby or turn off the monitor. We've got um, some power plans, pre-configured, performance, balanced, and uh, power saver, but you can go ahead and customize those to your liking. And then Alien Adrenaline, actually lets you set up uh, and execute a sequence of actions to kick off when you fire up a game. So maybe you wanna change the lighting or something of that nature to match your profile as you power up a certain game. So um, pretty nice stuff. And uh, again, part of the Alien Command Center software package that comes with uh, the Alienware X51 system. Let's fire up some benchmarks and uh, show you performance next. All right, so we've fired up Batman Arkham City. This is a hot new DX11 game title and it sports uh, leading edge graphics effects for sure. Uh, we've got the resolution set to 1920 by 1080. FXAA is turned on high. We've got tessellation turned on and NVIDIA physics technology turned on as well. So hardware assisted physics effects with additional physics uh, effects uh, in this game engine. And uh, that's powered by the GeForce GTX 555 graphics card there. Um, and as you can see, we're gonna push some pretty good frame rates, about 34 to 35 frames per second at 1080p resolution. Drop down to 720p, and you'll see 48 to 50 frames per second or so in this game title. Again, leading edge uh, DirectX 11 game title with pretty impressive effects. As you can see here, the physics effects with all the shrapnel and uh, glass flying everywhere. So real good performance from a small form factor PC like this with a very low profile acoustic signature as well. Very impressed with under a, a heavy game workload like this, how quiet the system is. So this has been a quick take look. Make sure you stop by our site for all the benchmark details and analysis. I'm Dave Altavilla with the Alienware X51. It's gonna be retailing for $9.99 as tested. Thanks for stopping by.